Hello everybody and welcome. Today we're going to be doing some designing in this video. And uh, if you're looking for some new ways to spruce up your Animal Crossing island, I think this is going to be a great video for you to watch because we are going to be playing with some cool perspective tricks. So we're going to be making some like fake doors with the new cutouts. And there is this new way you can use umbrellas as well because uh, Animal Crossing recently came out with an update where they added umbrellas and also these cutouts as a design option so people could make their own custom designs with these new furniture options. And if you place down the umbrella in a certain way, you'll be able to see that it turns into a box. Ooh. Uh, with this illusion, it kind of gets a little bit ruined if you go really close up to it. But other than that, if you're looking at it from a certain angle and a certain distance away, I think it looks great and there are a bunch that I want to share in this video so I'm going to be putting some design codes in this video as well but if you want to follow me on Twitter I've been liking a whole bunch of these boxes and cutouts so if you ever want to just stalk stalk my likes you can do that and follow these wonderful creators I'm going to try to credit everyone that I can in this video as well uh, but I'm just going to be showing you some stuff that I did with these box designs and also these cutouts that you can do as on your island as well. So we're going to be starting off with uh, my city, which I've been building for the past like seven months, it feels like. But, you know, we'll, we'll get done eventually. Anyway, the first idea I wanted to show is these boxed flower pattern designs. So people have put a bunch of flowers in boxes using this umbrella trick. And there are so many different patterns available for this. So you can have a white box pattern, you can have a rose pattern, you can have mixed flowers. I think there's a mum umbrella pattern as well. And there's just so many that I'm going to try to put them all in the video. But if they don't fit all in the video, you can look in the description for yourself and I'll try to label them as much as I can. Uh, but if you're looking for boxed flower patterns, that is pretty much the most popular one people are using with this trick, I would say. So as you can see, I'm using two different variants here. One is roses and then one is kind of just like mixed flowers. And then I'm putting a bunny day planter item in the middle. So people also are making these fruit box patterns, which are very cute. I believe I have apples, pears, and then sort of like a grass or a hay pattern as well. I can't really tell what it is exactly, but I'll be showing you that. And as you can see, it just looks pretty nice if you have like a little shopping area or a shopping district to just put these down wherever you want to. By the way, if you're ever looking for kind of a centerpiece for your garden or just a natural item that looks nice, I recommend the Kero 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 P bridge item from the new Sanrio Amiibo pack. If you scan in the villagers, you will be able to order this from your catalog. And it looks really nice with the new umbrella design with the flowers. So yeah, if you just put that on either side of it, it looks pretty good, I think. And I just wish they would make more items like this, especially because it has like water in it and stuff. I don't know. It's it's cool. You can also place these umbrella items on tables and stalls. So I'm going to show you one of my favorites, the aquarium umbrella design that has like little fish in it. It's so cute. And also the stack of books in a crate uh, umbrella, which looks really nice next to it, I think. And it just makes for a cool marketplace. You can build a whole marketplace with just these umbrellas because it's, there's just unlimited possibilities to what you can put inside of these boxes. So now I wanted to show you some uses for the cutouts. So you can actually make a fake door that looks like it's going into a building. And the way you do this is you take a record box and you customize it with a window pattern. And then after you do that, you put a door cut out in front of it. Now, this will create the illusion that it's an actual door because the cutout is at the perfect height and the perfect size of the record box. Uh, if you get kind of close, as you can see, the illusion's a little bit ruined, but if you're this far away, it actually looks pretty nice. This area is kind of a cafe and I just put some mum flowers in a book crate next to it to decorate it a little bit more. But yeah, I like this design a lot. I think you can get really creative with it. 
The next thing I wanted to show you is how you can use the skybox of Animal Crossing to create an illusion with these cutouts. As you can see, when I pan the camera up, it kind of blends in with the sky. And this is just a balcony pattern that somebody made. I believe it comes in different seasons too. So there's like a winter version. But I think this looks really nice on the dock to do. And, you know, you could put a little umbrella at the end to make it cute. And I think it looks really good. Another way you can use cutouts is similar to the fake building method. But this time we're going to make a little Costanza. Uh, oh, no, no, Cabana. Cabana is what I meant to say. So what you do is you take the record boxes. And as you can see, I have a different uh, window pattern for this one. And there are these cute white doors. And then you can just put the wedding arch in front of it and then put a bench in front of that to create this great illusion. The key to this illusion is the trees that go on each side of the cutouts because it really blocks all of the stuff that you would see that would break the illusion. Like, as you can see, it really looks good from far away, but even close up, you can't really tell. Another thing you can do with cutouts is make vehicles. So I'm making a train. I've seen people make buses, cars, monster trucks, uh, but this train is probably one of my favorites because you can you can like put hats and it kind of looks like there are passengers on the train. I don't know, it's really cute, I think. You can also see little wheels on the bottom and some railings too. I think this is just an overall cute build. There are also some patterns that blend in with the back dirt wall and people are making little mouse holes. And as you can see, there's a little Totoro uh, figure coming out of one and a black cat with one. And it looks really nice, I think. I, it, yeah, especially from far away and if you cover it with hedge standees. Here's another cutout pattern geared towards Fantasy by Meg. And it looks very, very nice, especially with her cloud pattern that you can download at her same creator code. So now we can look at some indoor uses for these cutouts. As you can see, you can make a cute little shelf for maybe a hallway. I'm down in my plant shop, so I have an ivy wall and then you can just kind of just cover it a little bit. And it looks like a little doorway that leads into a back room or something. And here's a GameCube design and a TV design based on the Sanrio Amiibos. Very cute as well if you want some decorations for indoor furniture. And we're just going to take a quick tour of our city really quick to see what we've done so far. I think these mum boxes in particular are really helpful and just flower boxes in general because we can place them on custom paths and that's not something we can do with flowers. So it really helps out that we can place these colorful items on custom paths to brighten up and fill those small spaces that we so desire to fill all of the time. At least I'm looking for things to fill the small spaces in my islands. And I think all of these custom designs are going to help a lot. We can see also there's a bunch of pet boxes around. I just thought it'd be cute to have random dogs and Sanrio cats uh, just randomly on my plaza square. And here's the plaza square with the boxes and the star fragment boxes. I thought the star fragment boxes would be appropriate because I have star fragments on the pedestal and I think it looks nice. And then here is the book area with the mums and it's a little bit of a cafe as well. And I think that's going to do it for this video. So yeah, if you like the video, leave it a like, comment below what your favorite pattern is and let me know if I miss any patterns that you really like and would like to see included in future videos. Anyway, that's it for me. I hope you have a good day. Bye.